first load of supplies. Getting ready to take it over to Jamie's house. We got the mold. Well, we got half the mold. They fit together, but they don't all fit in the in the car. The car is too small. You know, Corey should have made this one a little bit smaller than that one so you can fit them inside each other. Put them in. Corey's conveniently not <laughs> here today. Corey's on vacay. <laughs> oh, I should have bought a bigger van. Oh, I can't, I can't hey. Hey. What? Hey. What? Hey. what? Oh. They somehow got the mold into the van, but they cannot get it out. It's pretty much all Corey's fault. Corey! 9.55, we've not started building yet. How did we do this? We need a bigger van. This thing sucks. Yeah! Oh, Look at that. it's free. It's born. The pool is a milky blue. I hope to turn that thing black by the end of the week. Now I'm just hooking a camera up to the fan here. Getting a little time lapse overhead. Bit of a bummer, folks. Um, yeah. Looks like Corey, again, <sighs> miscalculated the volumes of our supplies. We've got about 40 buckets and we need 50. We need more stuff to fill up this thing here. He said he's got a bunch of starch, maybe not corn starch. Corey, looks like John's brother just saved your ASS. The big mixer didn't quite work, so I'm having to use the small one here and kind of mix this up by hand. Thanks, Corey! Why don't you mix it the wheel bear? Oh, that might be not bad. This is better than the bucket. I gotta constantly mix because as soon as I add the water and food dye mixture in there, it starts reacting, it starts bath bombing. We don't want the reaction to take place, so that's why we gotta like quickly mix it. We got first batch in. They're tamping it down. Oh. Tell them who made the tamper. Tell them. Corey made Corey's the bad boy. Corey's been in trouble this whole shoot. He's not here, he's on vacation. We don't have enough materials. And the tamper is broken. Corey messed up. Day two, we're already off to a rough start because the first batch that we mixed is a little too damp. So we pulled... This guy's fault. <laughs> I blame Corey, personally. We uh, pulled the bath bomb out into the sun to dry out a little bit. I think this is easier to mix into the smaller batches like we've got in the wheelbarrows than just pouring it straight in. It's too hard to control the, the pour. Is it edible? I think there's only one person that's gonna be able to test that. Uh. I, I, that's an answer to a question I need to know before I put something in my mouth. It's bad. Guys, that's it. Those are the only bags left. We are so, so close to being done. But we are all out. We're all out of baking soda. Kara's going to get more. We gotta put one more batch on top of there to get this thing finished up. The last wheelbarrow going in. So we came out this morning and the whole top of the mold is kind of wet and the hole at the top like is like expanded. I'm not sure if this thing is even close to dry. I'm pretty worried about this thing. Whoa! Everybody have a heart attack? Oh god. Okay stop. Some serious science going on here. Yep. That's why we've had no problems the entire time, because we're so good at the science. That's why um, Corey had the right amount of materials. Yep. Didn't happen. The mixer totally worked. Didn't happen. We hand mixed everything. Gone great. Really smooth. What are you doing over here, Oh, I'm just getting this camera ready in case it happens to fall inside. We're not gonna miss a beat. Oh, no! <laughs> no, it's not going. I'm joking. This is how you, like, you team direct. All right, here we go, ready? Yep. We're rolling. <laughs> oh, God. Joey, watch your feet. I scared for a second there that I was gonna get destroyed by, by my bath bomb. I think it did something to the color of your pool, Jamie. Hey, 
No, wait, no, I think it was this color all along. <laughs> it's pretty much just turned into like this gross looking Why is it so like, cold? swamp. Who would be right back down? <laughs> this is all that's left of 2,000 pounds. 2,000 to 20. Oh, it's shrinking fast, guys. Okay, so it's been one week since we dropped the gigantic bath bomb in my pool and we had to empty our pool. It's kind of gross. There's all this oobleck still in the bottom from the cornstarch and just, it's that brown and just kind of gross and kind of nasty. So um, don't do this to your pool. Vat19.com.